Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shikra. So this is going to be my review of my Tom Ford padlock heels slash padlock sandals. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. All right, so these are the shoes. I have them in black with gold. So the heel is gold, everything else is black, except it says, you know, Tom Ford in gold. It has the padlock right here, mine is in gold, and then it has like the strap. So these are the front. <laughs> this one's like all over the place. Let me try to hold these as nice as possible so you guys can like kind of see how they're supposed to look on your feet. So side, bottoms. <laughs> I held that so weird for you guys, sorry. Okay, so they're kind of pointed in the front. So these are the shoes. So let me put down one, and so we could just hold this one while we speak. All right, so I picked these up um, from Saks. Yes, from Saks, I picked these up about seven months ago. So I've had them for a decent amount of time to you know, give you guys a review on them. So these are in the 105 MM, I think. Let me double check. Yes, yeah, so these are in the 105 mm. They were 1,290, so this is before tax. So this is how much they were pre-tax and 105 mm, which is about four inches, I believe. So it's about four inches. I did pick them up in their black leather. And you know, I just wanted something um, black to start off with, with my Tom Ford heels. Okay, as you can see, the heel is pretty slim. <laughs> so if you want a shoe that has a thicker heel, then I would, you know, go towards a different shoe, not this one. And it is pretty like slim, I would say. It's not a thick shoe. Like if you see, like, yeah, it's not too wide. It's not too thick, so it's pretty slim. So it's kind of a shoe that it doesn't draw too much attention, you know? So before I, you know, picked up these shoes, I watched some reviews, I read some reviews as well really trying to focus in on is you know are these shoes going to be comfortable you know am i going to be able to walk am i going to be able to last like you know a full night in my heels because me i like to wear heels throughout the night i do not like to bring like slippers or flats to, or flats to change into so i like to like you know really bug it out in a sense when it comes to wearing my heels so i definitely was looking at hey are these comfortable? Will I be able to wear these? And every single video for the most part and everything I've read for the most part said, yeah, you should be able to. These are not uncomfortable. These are relatively comfortable compared to other designer shoes. So you should be good. And I was like, okay, I got this. Okay, they're gonna be comfortable. So I was like, okay, I feel like I don't need to break them in. <laughs> Since everyone is saying these shoes are comfortable and you'll be able to last in them, I'm like, yeah. And like, you know, I'm like a heel girl. I like wearing heels when I go out. So I'm like, yeah, don't need to break these in. Let me just wear them. Whew. Okay. First time wearing these, <laughs> these shoes, I should have broke them in. I should have broke them in before I wore them out. Because even though like later on, like, as time has gone by, the more I've worn these shoes, the more comfortable they are. And it's like, yeah, okay, now I do understand why people are saying it's very comfortable, but you need to break them in. <laughs> I, I guess I missed that part or people weren't discussing that part of break these shoes in before you go out on a night with these. Cause I went out and I was like on my feet a lot. And you know, I was just thinking, hey, I, I'll be able to manage these shoes are not the type that are going to <laughs> need me to break them in. But yeah, break these in definitely, but once you break them in, then they're really comfortable and as like, you know, nice as everyone says they are, but I would definitely just make sure you break them in. So walk around in your house, do stuff in them, whatever in your house for the time being before you step out on a night with these shoes. So definitely break them in. That's one thing I recommend afterwards, then you're, you're good. <laughs> you're good to go. Uh, if you're not a heel girl, someone who wears heels all the time, then definitely break them in. <laughs> Me, since like I do wear heels, I was able to manage, but if you do not regularly wear heels, break these in. But afterwards, you're good. And like I said, these shoes aren't thick and they're relatively kind of like, you know, thin, their width isn't thick. So, you know, you 
you have support with these shoes, but you don't have too much support for these shoes because as you guys can see it's pretty like you know thin and strappy so keep that in mind too if you're not too comfortable in heels that these are shoes that you know they're not gonna like tuck you in they're not gonna hug you and be really firm like you know what i mean and kind of help you with standing up <laughs> so keep that in mind too okay so i picked these up in a size 38 i wear like a seven and a half to a size eight normally so i usually go for 38s when i wear like you know italian shoes designer shoes like that so 38 and uh, as far as fit if it's nicely it's not too snug it's not to the point where i'm like i wish i had sized up and it's not like loose or anything that i'm like i should have sized it down so i would say go with your normal size but if you're i don't know someone who maybe your feet swell throughout the night blah 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 then maybe go up half a size if possible if you really want that i would say the strap over here the band is not overly um tight to the point where it's gonna really hurt your toes and it's gonna be really uncomfortable. Like you just kind of break them in so it does loosen, um, you know, over time. But I would say go with your normal size. If your feet are a little bit more on the wide side, then I would recommend going up like half a size or so or, or like, you know, full size. But if your feet are relatively like, you know, just, you know, whatever, um, then I would just stick with your normal. Um, it, it works for me so i would definitely say uh size wise it's you know pretty much true to size in my case so wear and tear so i did pick these up in june i think june of last year so wear and tear is pretty good um if you guys can see like it's not bad even the bottoms look amazing even though i have worn these a lot they still look amazing um there's like some scruffs on this at the bottom but other than that it's great over here you don't see like any indents of like you know my toes either which is great so i would say wear and tear as of right now it's been like what seven months going on eight months these shoes are great um i would expect since they're over a thousand dollars uh so they are great for me um i'm not seeing any types of tears or rips or anything coming apart or anything lifting which would definitely be like you know uh cause for alarm but i would say these are great when it comes to wear and tear all right so i picked these up in white and white and gold in black and gold and this is definitely more of a dressy shoe definitely more of a dressy shoe i mean you could wear you could style this down whatever way you want yeah you know what am i saying you could dress these up and dress these down for the most part i've been dressing these shoes up so that's how i've been wearing them but yeah i've seen people dress them down too uh so these are very versatile you can wear these i feel like you can wear these all year round even when it's like winter time if you go out at night you know some girls like you still have your toes out you just you know you're not it's not like you're gonna be standing outside and partying outside or going to eat dinner outside so that's why i'm kind of like these are year-round shoes um just as long as you you're not <laughs> running in the snow in these but yeah these are definitely year-round just wear them appropriately as you see fit and if you're going to be outside in snow or something wear something like boots and then change into these heels once you're inside you know or like just don't spend a lot of time outside but you guys see what i'm saying these are pretty much a pair of classic strappy heels and you know these are always in style and always on trend every season and year round so definitely you have that like you know going for these shoes and these shoes i feel like they they uh, is there an age limit for these shoes i mm, i don't think so i think but you can be as old and as young as you want within reasonable like you know measure <laughs> um and wear these i wouldn't say these are age limiting shoes or have a strict like age policy when it comes to these shoes and they are pretty classic um in style and look so i would say you can probably wear this at you know any age and just pair these with any type of style you know they're not just sexy you know i do think these shoes are kind of sexy um that's my opinion i think these are um kind of sexy uh for heels but yeah you don't have to have a particular type of style to wear these shoes which is great so i bought these shoes brand new i picked these up from Saks, and 
over a thousand dollars would i say this is worth the price of the 1000 to something um before tax i would say i need more time to say whether or not it's worth the price uh so um but as of right now i would say it is worth the price given the fact that everything is really it still looks brand new that's why i'm gonna lean more towards it's worth we can knock off a couple hundred <laughs> but it is worth the high price i do see the craftsmanship i do see the quality and the leather is really beautiful and yeah i would definitely say i do understand i i i can see why this is priced so high but at the same time i i don't see why it's priced so high but tom ford you're you're paying for the name as well with these shoes and the quality is great so price wise if you can get a discount um on tom ford or if you're going to like neiman's or Saks or where, wherever um farfetch Try to get a, a discount if you do not want to pay full price because I do understand like, you know, these shoes are like, you know, literally a pair of strappy heels that people can pick up anywhere at uh, any time. So um, I would say <laughs> that I understand if someone doesn't want to pay that much for it, but you know, it is a great shoe, great quality, and it looks really amazing and sexy and beautiful on your feet and these are a pair of black strappy heels that you can wear for years upon years and years and years and maybe even hand down if you want and then you know um i would say for the padlock tom fords um a lot of people definitely have a variety of these heels in their closet because they do say like once Okay, I, like I said, I, I didn't hear people say breaking them in, but like once you've broken them in, they are comfortable, they're easy, and they do make your feet look very nice and sexy and beautiful too. So, okay, so do I recommend buying these shoes? Yes, I do recommend buying these shoes. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, their quality is amazing, and there's just something about these shoes that just make your feet look really sexy and i really like that and i love the fact that like they are comfortable once you break them in and i do really like the design that like oh the heel is a different color compared to the rest of the shoe but you guys are probably like you can find that anywhere and that is true but yes i do recommend this i recommend these shoes i will pick them up in different colors um i think they're great price wise if you're willing to spend this much on a pair of heels then go for it if you can find some pre-loved i feel like that'll be fine too these have great quality so i feel like on the pre-loved market you shouldn't find like a pair of tom four heels that are like completely wrecked you know so i feel like they should all the ones that are probably being resold are in these these <laughs> are in decent condition so i would definitely recommend buying these shoes new pre-loved whatever i recommend them um i would definitely say these are an investment shoe and you're going to have them for years upon years so you'll get your cost per wear through these shoes okay i hope i did not you know ramble on too much for you guys i hope this video was informative and has helped you figure out whether or not you know you want to buy these shoes or you want to maybe gift them to someone as well so that's always a good thing too you could gift these shoes i feel like these are classic wear heels any woman any man would be happy to get these as a gift as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this is your first time watching please make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back for more videos and also please make sure to hit the like button as well bye